all yours. Okay. All right. So, hi, everyone. My name is Jenny, and I work for Elmer's. Um, we have a lot of fun at work making crafts and making slime. I'm sure many of you out there know what slime is. You know what slime is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, and this is my daughter. Do you want to tell me your name? Lily. Lily. How old are you? Six. What grade are you in? First. First grade. Okay. Um, and uh, we've got Alex on the line as well. She's going to help us with any questions you guys have. Um, so you can't talk to us, um, but you can type in questions or if you have comments you want to tell us to slow down, uh, just type that in the box and Alex will either respond to you or she will make sure that we get that message, right? Mm -hmm. um, okay, so you, oh, yep. Yeah. There you go. This is it, guys. This is what we're making. So glad you guys could join us. So it's, um, it's a good day for this today because it's raining here in Atlanta, Georgia, where we are. So glad you guys can make it. Hope you guys have some fun. We're going to make um, upcycled potted plants. Um, do you know what upcycled means, Lily? No. No? Upcycled is when you take something that's just lying around, maybe you would throw it in the trash, and instead you use that to make something new and exciting. So today, I'm going to go through the supplies here in just a second. Um, but we're going to take some things that you can find around your house and make something beautiful out of it. Oh, that would be so fun. Yeah. Okay. So let me go through what you guys need first because it's very important that we have all the right supplies. I'm going to go through a couple of things that you have to have um, and then a couple of things that if you don't have it today, it's okay. You can still do the project um, and we'll, you can always do some of the other stuff later um, when you are able to get what, what you need. So the first thing that you're going to have to have today is a small cup. So um, not, a, not something that's too big, um, but something smaller, about five ounces, um, if you can see it on the package, but like a little Dixie cup like this. Um, the next thing you're going to need is a coffee filter. So you can do a white coffee filter, or even if you have brown coffee filters at home, that's okay too. Either one will work, um, but you're going to need at least two of these. So make sure that you have two coffee filters. At home, um, the next thing that you've got to have to do this craft is a glue stick. So make sure that you've got a glue stick. Um, yeah, you can trade. They're both purple. We have disappearing purple glue sticks, which we'll talk about more in a second. Um, but make sure you have a glue stick. And the next thing you are going to need is paint. Um, so I, I recommend an acrylic paint or something that's not gonna um, that's not water based. Like a watercolor might be tough because thank you, Lily. Watercolor might be tough because if, if you're watering your plant later and it gets water on it, kind of it might run a little bit. So some sort of um, craft paint would be ideal. Um, and then of course uh, paint brushes. So you're gonna need a paintbrush. Um, and if you've only got one paintbrush. You might want to get a little cup of water. Um, that way, if you want to change colors, you can just rinse off your brush, pat it dry with a paper towel. Might good be to have a paper towel. If you're trying to protect your table, um, you might want to grab some newspaper. But all that you don't have to have. Um, just be a good idea. Um, the things that are nice to have are some sort of plant. So even if you don't have a plant today, um, that's okay. You can still make your pot, and then you can always come back and plant it later. Tell them about the plant that you picked, Lily. I picked this red cactus. The cactus? Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Where do we find cacti? In the desert? Yeah. Yeah, where there's, like, lots of sun, right? Yeah. Cactus, like, lots of sun. And, and, it, and it's really little water. Little bit of water. That's right. Um, and I picked what you call little succulent. Um, you do? Good. Um, and again, here's our completed craft. So this is what you have um, to look forward to. This is one Lily and I did last night. Mm -hmm. um, I think, oh, and then if you've got a little bit of soil, but if your plant comes with soil in it, you probably have all that you need. Um, if you need a little bit more, then that works too. And then another nice to have is a small magnet. Um, at the very end, if we have time, we'll use some of our glue to stick on a magnet 
and that way you can put your plant up against um, something metal, maybe a metal window frame or something, and hang it that way. So I think that's it. Hopefully you guys have, have everything you need, and you ready to get started? Yes. Okay. So the first step is that we're going to take um, our coffee filter, our cup, yep, now you can see overhead, our coffee filter, our cup, and our glue stick. So these are the three things that you're going to need right now. Okay? So I want you to take your cup. The first step in the process is get your glue stick ready. Get your glue stick ready. Mm -hmm. Put the cap off. Turn it up. And I want you to take your cup, mm -hmm. and I want you to put glue all over your cup, like you're painting the cup. So I'm going to paint mine. Yeah, working. you got to push hard. There you go. You're going to paint your cup. So you guys can see my cup is turning purple. Oh, my gosh. I did want a purple cup. What am I going to do? It's going to disappear. Is it going to disappear? Yeah. How yeah, cool is that? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do you. This is Elmer's purple, disappearing purple glue stick. So it's really nice because I know exactly where I'm putting my glue right now. You guys can see that too. So just rub glue all over, sideways, up, up and down like this. You just want it fully covered. Mm -hmm. You're doing good. Just keep going. Turn it the other way. You're doing awesome. Okay, I'm going to turn it. I'm going to put some more over here. It just takes a minute because you want it to have, be fully covered. Got it? No. How's yours coming? Oh, my gosh, that's really, really good. you got it almost completely purple. And if yours isn't a purple blue stick, that's okay. You just want to make sure you put more than you need. Like, you can just go ahead and put even more than you probably think that you even need for it to stick, um, just to make sure it's all the way covered. Yeah, because you really want it. You can even test with your fingers to make sure that the um, that the glue is on there like that. Don't push your finger on too long or it'll get extra sticky. <laughs> My done, Mommy. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, so once you have your um, your cup covered in glue, you're gonna set that down. Now remember, don't put any on the bottom right here because you're gonna set it down. You don't want it to stick to the table. So set your cup down for a second, okay. and then you're gonna take your coffee filter, put it down flat, and you're just gonna put one dot right there in the middle that you're gonna set your cup on, just like this. Just like that. Just like that. Yep. Now take your cup and just set it right on top and push it down like that. Yep. Yay. Hey, Jenny, we have a quick question for you. Someone asked if sure. they have a larger cup, will it still work? You can try it. Um, so your coffee filter is about, um, you can see about that tall. So you could always do this with a, a little bit of a larger cup. It just may not come all the way past the cup like you see here, which is fine. And you can try it and see if that works. But um, the smaller cups let you have a little bit of extra coffee filter at the top to kind of flare out. Um, but you could always just cover your cup um, completely um, and try it that way. Okay? Perfect. Thank All you. Right, so now, now that you've got your cup and you've got it stuck to the bottom, this is where you have to take your time. This is my tip. Take your time. Don't rush through it. You're going to lean up just a little bit like this. And you're going to take one section of your coffee filter and you're going to pull it up so that it's about um a, that? that's right so it's about you can see how much i have overhanging the top just like that and you're going to mash it down with your thumb just that oh, one section so cool. that's great now you want to mash it good so it sticks real good now if you're using a purple blue stick like us you might see some purple coming through the first time i did this i was so worried oh my gosh it's turning purple. And then, it and then it disappeared. It just takes a little bit of time. Disappearing glue. Disappearing glue. How crazy is that? Okay. So then once you have one section done, take another section of your coffee filter, pull it up. Again, you want it to be about a finger's width um, past the cup like that, and then mash it with your thumb. 
Just like this. Pump it coming over there. Make sure you pull about a finger's width above the cup, remember? Good job. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jenny, we That's had great. one more question come through. Someone asked sure. if they can use something besides a coffee filter. Would paper or anything like that work? You could use paper. Sure, you could use paper. You could use um, you could use maybe some newspaper or something that you have laying around that maybe you can cut into little strips. Um, that will stick nicely to the cup as well. Um, and at the end of this, what we're going to do, if you use newspaper, you might want to just take your cup like this and just stick newspaper maybe up to the rim like that. And then you can come back at the end and just paint it all. You can cover up some of that, um, that actual newspaper. Or if you just use regular paper, that should work too. That looks great, Lily. So see how this is playing out? You might want to just pull that. We're going to do another coffee filter in a second to cover up some of those parts. So Lily, gosh, she's beat me. So I'm going to go nice and slow because I want to make sure it's all sticking. I'm so I'm pulling up. Let's see how I'm doing each little section a little bit at a time, just like this. And you can kind of, if there's like a little fold in a crease like that, you can just crease it down like that, almost like you're folding paper, and just push it down like that. And then you're going to rotate it, and you're going to pull it up again. Yeah, you know what you can do there? Is just put a little bit of glue right there. And if you have a big flap, like Lily, let me see that for a second, Lily, let me show everybody. Lily accidentally had too much of a flap right there. So what she's going to do is she's going to put a little bit of glue right there, just like that. And then she's going to, what are you going to do next? Mash it down, right? That's right. So now it's stuck there, just like that. Good job. Um, I've just got a little bit left on mine. I'm just going to fold it, I think. Oh, I hear the doggie. Is that a doggie? Yeah. Um, okay. Nothing. This scares noises so funny. Okay. So there's our cup. Hopefully everybody saw yours, Lily. Good. You want to show it? Let's show it under the camera down here. So here's Lily. You can see she did pretty good. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take our second coffee filter. Remember, we needed two yeah. coffee filters. And make it around. And we're gonna do, we're basically gonna do the same thing again. Yeah. This yeah. time I would recommend just going extra slow because this is gonna be the main part that you paint. And, um, and do the same thing. So put a little dab of glue on the bottom of your coffee filter. Yeah, so that's gonna do that. And then you can take your your plant holder, and again, you're just going to put stripes of glue all the way around. And we're going to do a second layer just to make sure our cup is covered really, really good. Let's get it all over, just like that. Okay. Lily, are you learning about plants in first grade? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your favorite part of the plant? Um, my favorite part of the plant is the plant and the flower. The flower. That's a good choice. I like that part of the plant, too. It's a pretty good part. Yeah. I also like just green plants that don't really have flowers, kind of like the one I picked here. But if it was a cat, I would pick this. I like that one, too. It's kind of neat, isn't it? So we're just putting glue all the way around like this. I'm done. Wait, Got it? Nothing. Nothing over here. Right, I'm done. Okay. Well, actually, then we just put, in. put a little bit more down there. Make sure it sticks really yeah. good. Right, Mine did it really good. Does it stick very good, Lesson? Uh, sure. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um. Now put your flower right there in the middle. You can even um, put your hand down in the middle of your cup and push it down like that. Some of you guys have a lot smaller hands than I do, right? I have smaller hands yeah. like that. <laughs> All right, and then what are you going to do, right? You want about a finger's width above the cup. Again, you're just going to pull it up 
Smash it down with your thumb. Smash it. Like this. Slowly. Don't go too fast, remember? You gotta take your time so you get off. But then you pull that one up. Then you crease it down again like this. There. And you pull up the next section. Keep going. Now, I told you guys at the beginning that I work for Elmer's and we make slime. Do you like slime, Lily? Yeah. What is your favorite slime to make? Um, the glow in the dark slime. The glow in the dark slime. I want all of you guys to tell us, uh, those of you who are out there making this craft with us, I want you to, if you can, type in the, um, in the chat what your favorite slime is. And Alex will tell us what everybody's favorite slime is. Lily likes glow in the dark. And metallic and blue and purple. And metallic and blue and purple. And I like, um, there you go. Pull, pull it up tight like that. There you go. I like metallic blue. I think that might be my favorite. Oh, yeah, I love blue metallic. So bright. We have some yeah. people saying they like glitter slime and cloud slime, butter slime, and clear slime. I think we've got some slime experts out there. What do you think, Lily? Yeah. <laughs> cloud slime. That's that really fluffy kind. Oh, no, I'm thinking about snow slime where you yeah. hang it in the snow. It looks like snow falling. I don't know. You don't, we should do that one. You would like that one. Okay, so I think I've got mine all pulled up. Lily, how's yours coming? Good. Good. Let me see. Good. Yeah, yours is looking good. You know, another thing you can do is so Lily's is has got some. Let's see if I can get this camera to I focus. She's got some that's kind of hanging out in here. So I'm going to tell her what she can do if that happens. Is just pull it down just a little bit like this, um, and you put oh, some yeah. put yeah. some glue on the inside there, yeah. like that. Yeah. Good job. Right. And then you just stick it up there. Yep. Like that. And then you can just kind of squeeze your cup like this. You squeeze it and just make sure everything's sticking. So I squeeze mine. Just kind of push all over. And put your fingers on the inside and squeeze with the palm of your hand like this. Just make sure it sticks really good. You think that's good? Um, I think that's really good. Okay, so here is our little plant holder. Now, the next thing that we're going to do before we paint, for those of you who have plants and you came with a plant today, we're going to get our plant. Um, Lily, can you get yours? Um, and we're going to put our plants in first because um, – we want to make sure that we don't get soil all over our paint, right? Once we paint, the last thing we're going to do is paint because after we're done with this yeah. class, you guys are going to let your little potted plants sit and dry for a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So everybody, get your plants that have it. If you Mine don't have a down. if you don't have a plant, that's perfectly fine. What you should do while we're planting is think about what color paint you're going to use, and even if you don't have paint. If you guys have some fun markers at home, um, uh, grab those, and you could even use your um, your uh, markers to color the sides of it as well. But in either case, figure out what you want your design to be and what color paint you want while we plant our little plants. Um, okay, so what you're gonna do is take. So whenever you get a plant out of um, out of the bottom. You're going to want to like push on the bottom like this. Um, can you push on the bottom? That's fine. If it just falls out, that's even, that's even better because you can just, you don't even have to try too hard. It just kind of comes. So we're going to get soil everywhere, aren't we, Lily? I didn't take my own advice. Oh, that's perfect. It's going to fit so nice. And look, I've got extra soil in mine. So I'm going to put it in, I'm going to put my plant right there. I didn't even follow my own instructions and get newspaper, did I? It's okay. Yeah, mine. We'll clean it up. So I'm gonna put a little bit of soil in Lily's um, cup. Oh, there's so on. I'm gonna put her in her cup right here. And now, Lily, you can just put yours. Why don't you lean under the camera so they can see? And just put it right inside, just like that. 
Okay, and now we're going to add a little bit of soil inside the lily. Yep. Get a little pinch and put it inside there. Mm -hmm. So once you've got your plants in there, um, you're going to just mash the soil down so it sticks really good. Can you do that for me? Okay. All right, so now I'm going to work on mine. So my plant's a little bit bigger. Some of you guys might have little plants that are a little bit bigger than the little cactus that Lily has. So I'm going to clear off um, some of the soil around the edges so it will actually fit in my cup. Without, you don't want to try, you don't want to damage the roots. We know about roots, right, Lily? Yeah. What do the roots do on a plant? Uh, they uh, help it stick to the ground. It helps it to stick to the ground, how they get their nutrients and stuff. That's right, in the water. Okay, so now I've cleared some of that off. Now I'm going to, I think that's perfect. To add a little bit more. Put a little bit of soil in my cup. Because the soil helps it grow. And then I'm going to, perfect. And then you can work on brushing some of that soil off the top, Lily, so you can clean it up. What? Uh, just your fingers. And then I put my plant in there like that. And then I'm going to mash the soil down. Get it all set. Give a big okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I like it all the soil. <laughs> what am I going to do? You know what? We have a garden outside at our house. We're what? growing. We're growing. What are we growing out there? Carrot, cucumbers, which we were playing soccer outside one day, and I kicked the ball right into the carrots, and I smashed one of them. You did? Yeah, for real. I'm not going to eat that carrot. No, I'm, not going to <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's okay. That happens. I'm glad you were having fun playing soccer. So I'm going to clean up my soil a little bit so I can make room for my favorite part of this project. It's the paint. Which is the paint. That's right. Why do you okay. like that? Um, that's just part of the soil. That's fertilizer. Okay. So, clear care. out your space. Make sure that you've got um, good space for um, painting, because that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to paint a rainbow on that. I'm going to paint it on that. I'm going to paint the scene on the Okay. Oh, gosh, you have so many good ideas. All right, so you want to take your plant now, and you want to clear off any extra soil that may have gotten on the outside. Oh, is it saying something? All right. Okay, we're good. All right. They'll tell us if something's wrong, I think. Okay, you got yours? Yeah. You got your paint? So we've picked out our paint colors already. Um, if you don't, um, if you just have little tubes of paint, you might want to get a little plate, um, a little paper plate or something to put it on. Um, those are so pretty, really. Um, okay, so you're going to take, the next part of this project is to do our painting. Now, I recommend that you guys uh, get a plan. So if you want to do a I rainbow, my plan is to paint everything I'm going to paint. Okay. That's, that's a great idea. <laughs> um, now, one big tip that I'm going to tell you guys is don't, you got to hold the... Um, like yeah, that's right. So, if you paint up here, you're not going to have anything to hold on to because you're going to get paint all over your hand. So, my recommendation is to paint something on the bottom. Like up to there. That's right. Up to there. And then don't paint on the bottom because, yeah. again, you've got to put that down on something and you don't want it to get all wet. No, so yeah. You just want to paint maybe like halfway up on your planter. And then when you're done, if you want to set it down and then use your paintbrush and you want to finish like this, that's okay. But you want to make sure that you, you're you done holding it because, again, you don't want to get your paint all over your thumb. And when it dries, you can hold it. That's right. Okay. So, let's get our paint. You guys, um, we're going to get our paint brushes um, just a little bit wet and dab it off with our um, paper towel. And then I, I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do stripes of color. So, I've got six colors. So, I'm going to do six quadrants of different, not quadrants, six sections of different I'm gonna colors. Make all of these one big way not on the bottom. That's a great idea. Okay, well, let's get started. I want you guys to tell me what colors, um, can some of you guys tell me what colors you're doing on your plant and or any special designs that you have in mind? I like this 
turquoise color. I like that color too. Let me get some. I'm excited for that one. We have someone doing fall colors. Ooh. No, that's a really good choice. I think when was the first day of fall, Alex? Was it yesterday? I think it was Tuesday, two days ago, the 22nd, I believe. I think you're right. Um, we have somebody um, doing teal as well. You know, ooh, I've got a teal in mine, too. Now, if you're changing colors, like if you're doing more than one color, yeah, what can I do? you'll want to rinse off that first color. Oh, you, gosh, guys, you guys probably know this already, but um, you'll want to rinse that off, dry off your brush a little bit, and then start over. Um, I don't like this one. I think that whoever has steel, steel, teal inspired me. I'm going to do my teal next. I, I just did my teal. Oh, see, yeah, everybody's liking teal. Teal is kind of a fall color, don't you think? A little bit. Like, I think the biggest fall color has got to be orange. Do you like that rainbow? Oh, that's so pretty. Why don't you show them on the camera and see if it'll come through? That's not that much. There you go. She's got purple. It's kind of hard to see in the light, but purple and blue. Not blue. Is that or purple? teal. Teal, right? Or turquoise. And then I'm going to draw. What should I do with that? So I've got blue, and I've got my teal. I'm going to do... And then after that, I'm just going to get my paintbrush. Yeah, okay. I want to know if anyone out there knows what a plant needs to survive. Don't say anything, really. We're going to see if they can tell us. Does anybody know what a plant needs to survive? Are you can tell it after. Yeah, we'll let you answer it. If you know the answer, we'll let you answer. If you I don't it right. Someone guessed water and well, the sun. Water and the sun. That sounds and someone right said me. sun, sun, water, and yeah. soil. Sun. Someone said sun, water, and soil. Yeah. Pretty and good. Then we too. have light, light, water, and nutrition. Oh, got some smart kids out there today, Alex. I oh, think. Well, so what is? What does a plant need to survive? Oh, uh, I know. I don't know. Yeah, what do you think? You just I, learned about this in first grade. So light, water, air, and soil. <gasps> air? That was the one that um, we were all forgetting about, I think. It needs air. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. That's okay. See, Lily's plant just fell out. You know, sometimes things don't just go perfectly, do they, Lily? Sometimes things don't go as planned, and that's okay. You just have to come up with a plan B. So, see, you already got it fixed. And you're going to put your soil back in there? Can you hold it for me? Yeah. Yeah, just lean it up against something. If it, it's like maybe this way. Oh, okay. If it tends to want to topple over, just lean it up against something um, to get some balance while you're painting, um, and that might help. Sometimes when you put the plant in, if it's like leaning a little bit too far to one side, it might get a little heavy and you want to tip over. What are you doing in there? I think I'll do. One more color to go. I'm going to do dark blue. I think I'll do this light blue color. No. No. Um, so many choices, right? Well, the good thing is, is if you've got more cups at home and more coffee filters, usually coffee filters come with like a whole bunch in a pack. You could do more than one. And then next time you, you and your parents are at the store, at Home Depot or somewhere like that, you can grab some plants to plant in there. You can pick some flowers. I'm going to go to Home Depot staking out. Okay. So there's mine. I think the last thing I'm going to do on mine is um, I'm going to put some polka dots on it because I love polka dots. I'm putting polka dots on mine. Good choice. 
Cloudy. After all those colors mix, <laughs> it's a little cloudy. I think up there my got yellow. My polka dot. Boop. Yeah, pokey, pokey. I'm putting on my. Mm -hmm. This is mine right now. Let's be turned. Almost dropped it. I know, I know. Okay, so I think I'm done with my painting. I'm done with mine. So for those, who get, if you can see this one, you can see a little bit better there. It's mine. There you go. Play this. Camera's working. I'm gonna show you my All right. There's the rainbow. I got some little dots on the back if you can't see them. Let me just turn it on. That is so pretty. I love that. Okay. Um, so we just have one more step for our plant, and that's if you guys have a napkin, or not a napkin, what am I saying? We need a napkin to clean up, that's for sure. Um, but a magnet. So if you have a magnet, it's very simple. You're just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of your magnet. I've got mine in the other room. Really, can you go grab it? Um, on my desk in there, it's a little black circle magnet. You just put a little dab of glue on the back of it, um, and you put it. You'll put it above your paint so it doesn't get sticky, um, and you'll just want to hold it real tight to let that glue stick. That's okay. So that's in the process. And if you guys are done and you want to do another one and you have a cup and another coffee filter, then you can start on another one too. I want to do another cup. You want to do another one? Yeah. That one's fun. So Alex, are there any questions out there? Does anybody have any questions or? Um, we don't have any questions. A lot of people said that they were done painting theirs too. So I'm excited to see what those are going to look like. Yes. Now, if you guys want to share your creation, um, if your mom or dad, or if you've got social media, depending on how old you are, and you want to take a picture and share that, you should definitely do that. You can tag at Elmer's Products and Michael's and show us, show us what you have. Um, you're good. Yeah. All right, everybody. Well, I think we're done here. We had so much fun with you guys planting our plants and our upcycled potted plant holders using cups that we had in our house and coffee filters and craft paint. Um, this was just such, such fun, and we look forward to doing this sometime again with you guys. Okay. All right. Bye, everyone.